they had between games. He said Wake Forest had more offensive rebounds than his team had total rebounds. Van Lith buries it from the outside. It's on this last play, but boy, Van Lith's been lighting it up the last few games from outside. Well, and again, it's getting the ball to the mid. That game winner at Wake Forest was about as tough as a bucket as I've seen. That goes in. This is using her length against the backcourt of Louisville. And right here, look like Roby might have had 10 threes in that comeback win against Pitt. Second game this year that they have had 10. They've only hit two so far today. Evans breaks the 8 nothing. Kono gets it over to Evans. Kiana Smith hits the bottom of the net. 44 to 36, they've hit seven threes. Kiana Smith from Dana for one of them. The ranked team in the country, a game that was postponed earlier this season, earlier in this month because of some COVID issues at state. And that is beautiful ball movement. Balagoon getting it inside to Cochran. We're seeing a lot more creativity from the offense of Elizabeth Balagoon. At the four spot, she's a guard. Jeff Walls earlier in the season referenced that, that he would rather wait and play them until both teams are at full strength. And as the shot clock is winding down, Destiny Harden nails a three. Ten of her 14 shots, seven of her nine threes. But she's not going to stop shooting. Oh boy, she, she can do that. Bucket. Five point game, so you're right. Big free throws by Evans. And University of Miami count that basket, but Louisville with another tough battle. The Cardinals only scored 14 points in the fourth quarter.